Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel La Deutsche Vita. My name is still Phoebe and this week we are going to talk about the German student visa application. So, what do you have to know? What steps do you have to be mindful of? What you should not do? First of all, you should know that there are three kinds of visa so you don't apply for the wrong type of visa. There are three types of visas that are dedicated to um, educational purposes. So there's the German language course visa. This one is for somebody who is coming to Germany to solely learn the language. The visa duration is between 3 and 12 months. Watch out that this visa type cannot be extended. It cannot be turned into a student's visa. Once it's, it's, ends, its duration ends, you have to go back to your home country. Number two is the German student applicant visa. This type of visa is for someone who has already applied to a German institution and has not yet been admitted to the school. So um, this person's admission process or admission is subject to either a, an exam or an interview. And so the person has to be in Germany to complete the visa process. This is for somebody like that. Now this visa you can turn into a regular student's visa once you get admission to the university. The third kind of visa form is the German student visa. This is the one we're talking about today. And with this student visa, you can work part-time up to 120 days in a year. And of course, you can stay um, for a duration of um, study and you can also extend it if necessary. Now, let's get into how you apply. I would say that immediately you apply to university, you should also book a um, an interview appointment because the process starts once you book the appointment because you come to the appointment, the interview appointment with your visa application forms and all the documents that come with it. After you have submitted this, the interview, the application process starts. So it doesn't start until the appointment. Okay, so make sure you book the appointments on time and make sure that the time between the appointment and your um, preferred dates of departure is at least um, 12 weeks because the um, process time takes between 10 and 12 weeks at best. Okay, so please be mindful of that. Now, the visa fee is currently 75 euros. Please check on the website of the embassy in your country. I'm going to put some um, links here where you can also find out the information and hopefully find information that um, concerns your country. Mind you, not every country requires you to have a visa before entering the country to study, but make the inquiry and check and be sure that your country um, requires a visa. You are a national of a country that requires a visa to come to Germany to study. Okay, so we've covered visa appointment and visa fee. And one thing you have to about the visa fee is that you don't pay in euros, but rather in your home currency. So currently, let's say if the rate is 6.0, you do 75 euros times 6, and you pay the amount, the equivalent in your home um, currency. Now, when you're going for the appointment, what do you come with? You come with two visa applications that are duly completed. Please, please answer the questions to the best of your knowledge okay don't make any contradictory statements on board it wouldn't help you and um that and also make sure that the information that you give corresponds with the information on your other documents that support your application all right that's it you have to come with two biometric pictures so previously known as passport pictures with a white background don't forget that. And then, of course, you also have to um, have your passports, a valid passport. If you have um, previous passports, add them. Previous resident permits, add that as well. Come with everything that should come with everything that would support your um, application and also your own credibility to give a, a, an all round impression about you. All right. And I would always advise that you, you go with a passport or you provide a passport that is at least um, valid for the period of time um, that you'd be in Germany, just for practicality reasons. Because um, for the period of time that you're in Germany, um, renewing your passports can be much of a hustle because you have to do it through the embassy of your country here, and not all countries have their embassies in Germany, so 
be mindful of that. Another thing that you should know is that everything that concerns you, if you're married, if you have children, please provide um, documents that prove that or that support that. You need your birth certificate, so yours, if you have um, kids, theirs as well, your marriage certificates um, where applic applicable and basically bring everything that says something about you and it's certified. Because you are applying for um, a visa, student's visa, you also have to get the um, admission from the university that you're applying to. They normally come in per mail and hopefully they come in, they would come in um, between the time of application and the time of um, the visa appointment so you can take it with you to the appointment. So um, the admission letter from the institution is important and then um, you also have to come with a CV and a motivational letter why you chose that particular school, what you hope to achieve um, with the skills that you um, seek to acquire from that school and your future plans with your skills and all that, why you chose Germany. That's one thing. And then um, you also have to prove um, that you are eligible to study. Um, in Germany, we have the um, entrance qualification into universities called Abitur. That's for bachelor's degrees or for first degrees, it's Abitur. You have to provide that. And if you cannot provide Abitur, you have to provide an equivalent um, certificate that states on that certificate that it's similar or it's equivalent to the German Abitur, please take note of that. And also um, all academic reports or certificates that um, prove your current studies of education. And if your course is in English and or in German, you have to provide um, proficiency tests of a proficiency certificate of these languages. So if your course is in English, you need TOEFL. If your course is in English and German, you need both. If your course is just in English, um, if just in German, you need um, the proficiency, um, you need a proficiency certificate from the um, German Goethe Institute Zentrum um, from the, in your country. And even if your course is in English, I would advise that you still go for a few language courses at Goethe Institute to prove that you are ready to learn the language, you're ready to live here, you're ready to study here and have a comfortable life. Now, with that covered, um, one thing you have to know is that when it comes to proving that you are financially covered, there are four ways you can prove that, okay? Um, the embassy wants to know how you're going to take care of yourself, how you're going to cover your rent, your study costs, um, your clothing, your feeding, and all of that. So it's actually for your own good. Um, the first option is the blocked account, the Sperrkonto. You can um, process that one online with um, Fintiba, Suta Bank. Um, it's a great opportunity. Um, to do it quickly um, by yourself or if you want to go the old school way with the postage you can use the Deutsche Bank you have to send the documents to Germany um, to their headquarters in Germany and um, have that process but it takes a bit longer of course because you're posting right so how does the blocked account work so you pay in the amount of money that you would need currently the amount is 853 euros per month that's supposed to cover your rent and um, study cost and um, tuition fee, whatever that goes into it, um, feeding and upkeep. And this 853 euros times three is roughly 10,200 euros, 10,230, 10,140 euros. Whew, that's the math over there. So yeah, 10,230, 30 something euros. Roughly, so please do the calculations yourself, okay? Thanks. Um, this is the amount that you have to pay into it, so that's the coverage for a year first. And of course, as I said earlier, you can work up to 120 days, but this is the security for you as well. So, um, once you enter Germany, you provide your entry stamp to Fintiba, um, Suta Bank, and after you've um, opened a Giro Conto, that's the current account. The money is paid into your account monthly so the 853 is paid into your account monthly 
that is um, how that works. So you have access to the money. It's your money, but you just have to pay upfront so that you can have it for the period of time that comes um, after the um, application or in your time in Germany. Another thing um, you can do is have the um, declaration um, by your parents that they are going to co cover you or support you financially for your period of stay, a period of study. Um, your parents do not have to be in Germany, they can be anywhere, but they just have to provide proof that they are in a position to cover you financially. The third option would be the Verpflichtungserklärung, that's the letter of commitment. You need to have somebody who resides in Germany and works in Germany to vouch to cover you um, financially. So um, the person has to provide proof that the, he's working, he has to bring in a confirmation letter by his employer, which is can be no uh, no older than two weeks, that they are working in that um, company, and their pay slips have to be provided, and other documents concerning this. That is also an option that she can do. So the person has to be in Germany, a legal resident in Germany, and working. Number four would have to be um, the scholarship. So. The scholarship um, that is awarded to you and mostly people have the DAAD or any other scholarship that is recognized by the German MC. So guys, this in a nutshell is what you need to have. Um, when it comes to accommodation, when it comes to um, health insurance, you don't have to have it at the time of application. But when it comes to accommodation, I would recommend that you please look into that because finding a um, housing in Germany uh, especially in the bigger cities where the universities, the big universities are, can be quite a hustle and a headache. So please look into it. You can use the dorm um, of the institution that you're going to, the residence hall. But um, according to experience of other international students, it can take a long time for you to get a reply. So um, what I would advise is that you try that and still have other options, okay? So I'm going to list um, these websites here. I'm just going to throw them in here. So the gig is looked, Imo Scout, Imo Welt. Um, there, there's quite a few, a few num uh, quite a number of um, um, platforms where you can find housing. And as I said earlier, you in my first video that you need somebody who is already in Germany and um, they will be able to help you because you need your residential address to register for the health insurance for example or um, to even for you to even register that you've arrived in the country they need to know your address okay so please um, be mindful of that the health insurance you can do it after we've come to the end of to, um, today's video so it's time for the word of the week the word of the week is divut, wut, divut. I don't know why um, wut is feminine in German. <laughs> um, first of all, wut means anger, okay? Wut means anger. I don't know why the word is um, feminine, but I mean, anger is not bad. It's the prolonged um, tenure of anger that is bad. So don't be angry for too long. And let's say a sentence that goes with anger in German, die Wut, also mit der Wut. Um, lass dich nicht von der Wut mitreisen. Don't be um, taken away by anger. So that's the word. And the adjective of Wut, of die Wut, of von der Wut is wütend, angry. Wütend, angry. So guys, this, this week's word and come back for next week's word and Yes, I'm so, so excited to be on this journey. So please do not forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. <laughs> Subscription is free. Subscribe, like, comment, share, 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 share. And I'm so thankful for the feedback that I've been getting. And I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. I'm going to keep it up. And so guys, have a blessed week ahead, a successful one. And see you next Sunday. Tschüss.